Back in 1967, your father set a groundbreaking, what was then a groundbreaking standard in American politics. He released his tax returns. He released them for not one year, but for 12 years. And when he did that, he said this, one year could be a fluke, perhaps done for show. When you release yours, will you follow your father's example? Maybe. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know how many years I'll release. I'll take a look at what, the, the, uh, uh, what our uh, documents are. Tomorrow, South Carolina voters will vote in the Republican primary. Tonight, it's Friday. Has there ever been a more appropriate time for a cocktail moment? <laughs> In the week that Mitt Romney showed himself totally unable to handle questions about his millions, about how he made his millions and where his millions currently reside and what kind of view they have from their Cayman Islands home, I thought it would be appropriate to make um, a cocktail that's called The Millionaire. OK, it's called the millionaire. It is a prohibition era drink. Uh, this particular tweak of the millionaire cocktail recipe comes from Employees Only, which is a bar in New York City I like very much. Uh, the Employees Only bartenders have written a book called Speakeasy, very good cocktail book, uh, which has this recipe. Uh, so the millionaire cocktail um, has one trick in it, but it otherwise um, is pretty straightforward. The first thing I have to tell you is that I'm going to do something I don't usually do, which is I'm going to make two drinks instead of one uh, because of something that I'm going to explain in a minute. So to make two drinks... We're going to need four ounces of bourbon. One. And I apologize ahead of time because I'm going to make a mess because I have to go fast. So two drinks, four ounces of bourbon. Okay. Um, also, one and a half ounces of Grand Marnier. There's a lot of different orange liqueurs. You're supposed to use this one for this one. I don't know why. Cointreau has a clear base spirit and Grand Marnier is brown. So that's how you can tell if somebody is lying when they tell you they're serving you Grand Marnier and they're not really. Um, an ounce of grenadine. Um, you can't, if you can't get the good stuff, if you can't get a kind that like doesn't have preservatives in it, you can make it yourself with pomegranate juice and sugar. It's not very hard. You can Google it. It's safe. It's not like Rick Santorum. Um, you need an ounce of lemon juice. And again, if you get lemon juice from something other than a piece of fruit that's commonly known as a lemon... Um, I will hide under your bed at night and grab your ankles when you wake up in the morning and terrify you forever. In my other life, I'm a goblin. All right. <clears throat> An ounce of lemon juice. It's not that hard. And now here's the thing that freaks everybody out. <clears throat> pastis, which has a little licorice flavor, but I know I don't like licorice. You have to put the pastis in it. It's delicious, and it won't taste the same if you don't do it. And even if you think you don't like licorice, you should try it. Really, grow up. All right, half an ounce of pastis. Now, here's the trick. If you think you were freaked out by the pastis, I mentioned it's a prohibition era cocktail. Want to know what that means is there is in it? There's an egg white in it, okay? I know. And so this is why we have to make two drinks because it's really hard to make half an egg white. <laughs> and one egg white is enough for two drinks. So... Did you see that? That was the yolk. What do I do? Get a spoon. Get a spoon? I could use this. Sp I could use this. Oh, and you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to tell you what to do and not make it. Because if I shake it up with the yolk in it, I'm gonna be making a millionaire flip. And you know what that is? That's a nightmare. You think I can? You think I can get it out with a spoon? Yes. I don't think so. Oh my God! Wait. Do you have the jib cam on me? I'm doing the most difficult thing that's ever been done live on television that isn't sneezing. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I meant. Uh-huh. Thank you. I actually quit my job now. You can find me working at the parking lot down the corner. You want to shake without ice first to make sure you get adequately, adequately aspirated whenever you use an egg white. Because if you don't do that, you won't have enough froth to make it really... Uh, to make it really frothy, which is the point of the, of the egg white. I can't believe I rescued the egg yolk out of there. If I was a genius, I would have done it over the top of the cocktail strainer, so that, that wouldn't have been a risk. In any case, <clears throat> you shake it up with the ice after having dry shaken it without the ice. A lot. 
But I think you will see, even though I screwed it up, but then rescued it, that you get a nice egg white foam on the top. You garnish it with a little bit of nutmeg, and you have a millionaire cocktail. On the eve of South Carolina's primary, the biggest test yet of millionaire Mitt Romney's presidential prospects. The most difficult cocktail I've ever made in a cocktail moment and a complete failure. We'll see you again tomorrow night, 6 Eastern. We'll join you for our special coverage of the South Carolina primary. Uh, Now, of course, though, you have to go to prison.